It's a fridge, Harry. It's a fridge. <laughs> hey, you guys. Just watching one of those uh, instructional videos on YouTube. Not a brew related one, though. Some of you may know another one of my little hobbies is shooting. I was just looking at uh, being a bit naughty, actually. One of those how to make your own gun videos. Seems illegal in America. Apparently not in here. But I can't find uh, can't find a piece of metal big enough for me bullet. Anyway, you're gonna have some updates. Catch you in the moment. Time for a hop update. There's a tiny little shoot. There. And this one. Got to find a home for this one, I think. And that one. And sprouting both ends of the root. Right, let's have a look at the other ones. Well, the one that was struggling is now growing as well. And this is the other one. And she's getting getting on for about two foot. So I'm gonna have to find some stakes. Hey ho guys, it's where I am. Just a few bottles of beer, all empties unfortunately. But there's plenty of them. more over there. So, I know a man who sells these with bottles for any humbrewers that want a bottle. So give us a call. Well, you can't call me because you haven't got my phone number. But I shall have a word with the man and put the link on the bubbles and chalk form. Catch you later, guys. Another acquisition of mine. Had them quite a while. I think I've mentioned them before in videos, but never had chance to uh, just include them. They're uh, a 20 litre food grade plastic bucket. So I bought a few of these with the view to doing uh, two gallon, three gallon batches and also storing grains and brewing sugars and things like that in. Obviously they're airtight. They're a bit mucky because they've obviously had a sticky brewer's syrup in them. So you know what these uh, macro brewery boys are putting in their beer. It's not all grain, is it? But this is a quick tip for you guys out there if you're looking for a cheap fermenting or storage vessel. Got all the handles in there and all the lids. You all need a bloody good wash. Check out your local restaurants, bakeries, food production places, any factories you've got nearby. Chances are they're buying some of their ingredients in bulk. And the bulk green ingredients are going to be in a food grade plastic container. You can get the uh, 20 litre barrels for doing your cold crushing or storage in. Or buckets like this that uh, will have powders in them, flour, not everything comes in paper sacks now, Especially, particularly if they're sending it transit, obviously uh, they'll go for something like this. And when they're done with them, they've got no use for them, so they'll uh, probably give you them. Or you might have to just uh, grease a few palms, as they say, a few pounds, and you can get yourself some cheap barrels. Right, let's go back to the house, I think. Ah, well, not much else to tell you, really, guys. You've seen the um, few little snippets there, the updates on the hops, um, a little trip out, a few beer crates there. If uh, anyone's interested in, um, I think there's 20 bottles in a crate. They're the pop top ones. He has got the other ones as well, but. Most people prefer the pop tops. 
Um, I'm going to put the link on the eBay deals on the Bubbles and Chalk forum. Um, if not, shoot a message in the comments box uh, if you're interested. Obviously, it's UK only, but um, if anyone wants any bottles and nice crates to stack and store them in, same sort of ones as I've got. I know a man who's got them, and I'll send you the link. I think he's got them on eBay at the minute, but if they're not on eBay, um, I can give you contact information. Uh, that's pretty much it. A little tip on uh, cheap fermenters, or storage vessels. Worth checking out if you've got any food production places in your town, city, wherever you work or live. <coughs> Another little thing I know. If some of you watch Mr. Sparty, he's bought the poster, the same as Man Bear Pig. Um, the periodic chemistry tables, beer version, um, which gives you all the information on the styles. Um, I noticed that in his videos quite a while back and thought it was quite a dapper little thing, but the problem is it's so big, um, you've got to find a wall space to fit it, which I haven't got, because um, I've got units all the way across that wall, and that wall, and a window, as you probably noticed on my chimney breast, I've got some deactivated guns, before anyone gets all upset, they're deactivated unfortunately. This one's got shelves and that one's got a cartridge display board on it. And there's a cabinet there full of CB and radio equipment. So I have nowhere to put one. But I did manage to find this on the internet. Which is a print offable version. Not dissimilar to that poster. And then you can get close up. Struggling a little bit, the print has not come out best. It's a bit fuzzy. But uh, if you look on the bubbles and chalk, can't quite remember where the posting is, so you'll have to look for all of them that I've put on there. But there's a link to this on someone's uh, website <coughs> to print a copy of this off. There's also another link to a website where obviously this originally spawned from. Um, which is sort of interactive. If you go on and click on with your mouse on each particular square, it then comes up with a little section in the middle of the screen and gives you a link to Wikipedia and gives you definition and of the bear and information on the bear style. Or it will link you to Bear Advocate or whatever to give you a review on that particular style of bear. So it's interesting. Um, I think that's really it guys, I've got no, no, no brew stuff to tell you. Um, I've been back at work this week so <clears throat> no days off this week, I've had a full week um, or will be having a full week at work so uh, no days off. Well, it's like having a real job, you know, having to work five day week, bloody hell, I'm going to move 150 tonnes of mud in a little skid steer which is uh, why you see the video with all the bear crates. I did have another one of these from Cafe Press. I emailed them about my t-shirt. That's coming today, I think, or yesterday. Because the arm started coming unstitched on the other one. Um, hats off to them. Customer service side of Cafe Press is pretty good, very apologetic, blah blah blah, keep the old one, blah blah blah, blah. we'll send you another one. So, hopefully, they remember to sew all the sleeving up. So good, so far, so good. But yeah. So, better teach the missus to sew. Something else you can't do. <coughs> Well, that's it, boys. I'll let you get back to your Humbery videos. I'll watch some more myself while I'm waiting for an age to upload this one. I'll enjoy the remainder of my bit. And I'll catch you next week, or if not, before. You never know, I might put another one up. And like I said on one of my comments, might get a brew day in. 
this weekend, depending on weather. If it's good weather, garden jobs take priority. If it's bad weather, I shall be in the brew shed. But we'll have to wait and see, because if anyone knows, like in New Zealand, they can experience all four seasons in one day, and in Britain, it's either shit, sunny, really shit, rainy shit, shit shit, grain shit, or just shit. Catch you later guys.